Bitcoin is currently breaking out. Are you ready to have the time of your life? If you are, then make sure to stay tuned right to the very end of this very short video today. Today, we are going to be discussing some amazing things. So make sure you are tuned into the Crypto Bliss channel. Clearly, you guys loved my XRP video. It literally had 10x views than that one. Uh, so thank you to you all for that blessed um, viewing session from all of you. Let's delve right into the content of this video today. Currently, as you can see here on the monthly time frame, if I pointed out here last time to you when the stochastic RSI came down in the bear kind of in the pullback component on the way up, okay, which was the strong pullback, just like this has been the strong pullback. Well, guess what, my friend? It came down to just kind of around under the halfway point, around the halving point, and then all of a sudden bounced up ridiculously hard. In this cycle, we're actually a little bit ahead of our time. And so there was the, the halving point, and now we are only pulling back down into this similar kind of zone and area. So for me, we are getting ready to tackle the next level here. We've bounced off of the 50 moving average. We're a, uh, sorry, the 20 moving average on the monthly, not even any of the other time frames right now. And the, the MACD is getting ready to pump very, very hard. We're only just getting going here. So if you have a look at this down on the weekly time frame, the weekly time frame is currently busy pushing ridiculously hard up here and pushing our way back up to the all time high. That means that we are right on track for our 200 day exit after we have seen the halving date. The same as here, 200 day exit oh, and pump up. How's that? The same thing happened here. All right, we had 221 days, right? From halving date to boom, to the pullback and the, the breakthrough on the all-time high, 221 days. I don't know about you, but we are literally days away from our absolutely ridiculous, massive explosion. And if we go ahead and look at it on the weekly time frame from this week, which my friends is pretty much done, uh, if you took it in traditional training, but we have six candles or 42 odd days left of the potential for us to get out of this all time high. 42 days left, but we have had a confirmation of a breakout pattern. Where is that? Well, first of all, if we zoom in a little bit, we broke through this very much building triangle. This was a fake out, bounce off of the the 50 moving average here, that's the 100 moving average. And then the 200 is all the way down here. Not even close, okay? We said we would break out before the apex. Guess what? We did. We retested. You want to see us retest? Well, let's go and have an even closer look. And sometimes, when in doubt, zoom out, my friend. Right now, we're coming up to a little bit of an exhausted pattern. But if we have a much closer look here, what we can see is that we're we're getting a W formation that is busy unfolding here. And the neckline is this neckline. So the neckline would essentially take us from there. And I'm going to count the wick because the wicks in this instance actually matter. So that would take us up to a potential of about $89,000 over the next few short weeks. But what I do want to say to you before I allow that to unfold for us in our video today is that we have had this down sloping trend line. We have had a lot of resistance. We are coming up to the resistance and we are like 3% away from it. So I wouldn't get too, too, too excited here at this point because even though the MACD is pushing up, yes, the three day, generally when it gets, the three days to cast, generally when it gets to the top, it likes to bounce around while it creeps up. Like you can see there, there was the top and then it still continued even through the pullbacks. It went absolutely ballistic. So I wouldn't put this past this, but what I do want to say is that I wouldn't be surprised if we hit here, reject, pull back all the way down here to like the 60,000 level and then get the one last mother of a rally to break out of this trend. 
That for me, my friend, would give us the next 42 odd days. What do you think? But really, on the lower time frames, we are breaking out. Okay, on the lower time frames, if we really have a look at it here, we are breaking out. Look at this massively, massively beautiful W pattern that's busy unfolding here right now. And yes, essentially, that's the neckline. Okay, but really, the neckline is kind of this down sloping trend. That's the neckline, is what I'm gonna say. You can see here that we're a little bit overheated on the stochastic. So for me, we're closing a nice juicy candle right above this zone, right above this zone. And we are closing it into resistance on this zone and that zone and all of this here. So for me, my friend, I would not be surprised if we have one next candle Friday up here, then a strong pullback, maybe to just meet the moving averages. Maybe that's all it's going to take for us is just to get to this moving average you let me know down in the comments below but the thing about trading is that you should be vigilant you should know is it going up or is it going down well i've just shown you a few things that should tell you what when how and why if you want to trade this with me come and trade it i'm currently only in one trade at the moment and i'm waiting for bitcoin i want to see how it responds and how it reacts at that point if we get above 65k and we hold very nicely above 65k, which it is already 65,700. My friend, I would say to you that the likelihood of us pushing up probably into this resistance here first, breaking out of this pattern, hitting the top here, 73,000, pull back, retest even deeper back inside, and then pump to the moon. That's what I can predict happening here. I don't know. What do you think? But I did show you this very wonderful chart that we are still only here anyways. 420 days from peak of cycle to bottom of bear cycle. Same thing in all the markets and 1100 days essentially until the peak of the next cycle. So would you like to see what 1100 days looks like from the bottom of the cycle? As you can see here from the bottom to the peak of the cycle. Well, my friend, that's nearly three years of bullish action. Even though we have one year up, one year sideways down, one year up, like it's all good. We're still going up. Okay, that's what I see for C unfolding. And so does Mr. Plan B. Now, I want to give you a few scenarios here with Mr. Plan B because obviously in the red here, we can see it's the bull cycle. So we're in bull market territory. There's no doubt about it. We are not in distribution. We're not in the bear market and we're not in accumulation phase. Okay. This was the time to accumulate. So your last time to accumulate was pretty much at the beginning of 2024. Ever since then, we have literally been in a bull market. So I want to ask you, my beautiful community, that this is just a scenario. October, classic pump month for Bitcoin, up to 70K. November, Trump wins the elections. In other words, we're going to pump still another 5K. 70K is up here. 70k right there guys that's the 70k level okay very much psychological level lots of resistance up there at the moment and if we continue november trump wins the elections and ends the democrats biden harris warren gensler war on crypto btc goes to 100k wow that would be incredible considering that this is where we are right now 65k that's literally like another 50 percent up and honestly, I have called the 100K as a psychological level for some time now. So if we were to get up to the 100K level, it's give us like a 56% return just to that level up there. Okay, maybe that's by then. December, massive ETF inflow. Bitcoin goes up to 150K. Guys, where's 150K from here? 150k is right here that's 128 percent okay by between now and december it's already october november december that's three months my friend and we're saying that bitcoin could potentially hit that level not only that but january crypto people companies return to us bitcoin hits 200,000. february power law crew sells bitcoin goes back down to 150k for a nice strong 25% pullback, as you can see from the 200k level. March, Bitcoin comes legal tender in Bhutan, Argentina, and Dubai. 
Bitcoin fucks off up to 300K, which is my personal target of this cycle. I don't know what you think, but I'd like to know what your target is for this cycle. Please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And if you want to go ahead and trade this, use my Bybit link down below. Get yourself up to $30,000 deposit bonus and let's make money together because now is the time to make money. You do not want to be going anywhere. You do not want to be selling any of your old bags. Okay, look at that. Look at that as a chart. You do not want to be selling any of your old bags. You can see here on this one auction where I've put my entry right here at the bottom with a like a quadruple bottom and a massive potential W pattern that could unfold here, which could essentially bring it all the way up to the 36 level. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's just take some profits, walk away nice and juicily right now. Because as you can see, I'm like just above my entry and I'm pretty decent in profit with about 22% on that trade right now. So make sure to join me. And uh, it's not too, too late to get into that trade if you'd like, but let's come back. So May, uh, sorry, April, Trump, US start building strategic BTC reserve. Bitcoin ends up at 400K. May, other countries except EU join rat race. Bitcoin goes to 500K. June, several AI start using Bitcoin to autonomously uh, arbitrage trade fi bitcoin to 600k july to december face melting fomo bitcoin hits all-time high of one million dollars do you know how many people i've been hearing that are saying that bitcoin could potentially hit one million dollars by the end of the cycle and if you've been part of my channel and my community for some time i actually did say something a little bit more extreme than that uh, there you go. Go watch that video. I'll leave it in the cards above for you. But I did say Bitcoin even could hit $10 million a cycle. But we'll have to just take it and see. Because with all of that buildup that is busy happening here, who knows what could actually happen. Then we could see 2026 distribution phase, which goes back to the yellow zone. And that's where we start to see our first tapering off of the market. And Bitcoin goes back to half a million. 2027 bear market BTC bottom back at 200k. I fucking love this. Shout out to you, my wonderful friend, Plan B. All right. So to the community, like clockwork, you can see here's another chart where we can see literally Bitcoin is now making its next move up, exiting and pushing. We're like here for Bitcoin right now. We're here for Bitcoin. We're here for Bitcoin. Look at where we are. We are there. Don't be fooled because Mr. BlackRock here, I got some skanky news on this company and this dude. But anyways, I'm sure a lot of us do. BlackRock now requires Coinbase to deposit Bitcoin directly on chain within 12 hours after instructions of instruction after concerns were raised. It was selling paper BTC to ETFs. Wow. Do you know what that demand means, my friends? That demand means, and look how many likes this, this got. That demand right there, my friend, means we're talking about something like OTC, over the counter. Meaning that when Bitcoin dries up and all of these assets dry up, if you watch these videos here, they dry up the assets in the market and there are only so many Bitcoin available in the market that are being mined and that people want to sell. Do you think I'm going to sell my Bitcoin to him or to you? No, not a chance. Okay, I would very, very, very much, much wish that you would pay attention here because right now, okay, Bitcoin is the king of crypto assets. And my friend, if you can see here, we are going for the long haul. We are in the trajectory that takes us to the next level of Bitcoin. That next level on the 1.618 is up here at the 100,000 level. Okay, if we were to go, just hypothetically, I'm going to do half a million. Okay, my target is 300,000. So from where we are to my target that will end in October, that will give us a 361% return. That's a 3.6x. If we were to hit half a million, okay, half a million Bitcoin, that would be 6.6x. 
if we were to hit a million Bitcoin, my friends, this season in the cycle, that would give us a 1,446% return. That's a like 14, 15 X return on the top king asset, taking this asset up to like 18, 15 to 18 trillion dollars. Now I've previously said that about 10 to 12 trillion dollars is more reasonable for this cycle. But who am I, man? Who am I? All I can say is that I've been buying this coin since we were down here. I own this coin still. I'm well up into it. And I am so grateful. If you want to join me and you want to make some money and you want to change your your life and your family's life, make sure to subscribe to the Crypto Bliss channel and hit my, my link here. You can see here, I'm waiting very gently and patiently for this trade. And this trade, as you can see, it's in a broadening wedge here. If it hits that level first with a little bit of resistance, that's 20% up. Okay. If it hits my target up here, that's about 60% up, giving me like a 1,200% return, giving me ridiculous gains on my trade. Thank you for being here with me, and I hope you're making money with me too. Thanks for being here. Lots of love, and we'll see you on the next one. So I'll take care, and uh, see you.